Okay, so, um, hey, my name is Blair. You probably already know that, or maybe not, depending on where you're watching this video. Um, I talked about this thing I'm about to talk about here once already before uh, on my Instagram, just at home on Pro Tools, but now I'm actually in the field, so I figured I would show it. So it's just uh, trying to get rid of background noise on vocals and suppressing, uh, you know, usually cymbal and snare bleed and all that kind of stuff. Or if you have a loud stage with rock guitars, maybe you're trying to get rid of that too. But uh, on a lot of the gigs I've been on, most of them, the culprit is usually the snare. The snare is usually the reason why you can't get your threshold right on your vocal noise suppressor. You set it too high, the singer can't break through. You set it too low, the snare is constantly breaking through. So a um, little trick I use is um, <sighs> double patching the vocal that's in question and then sidechain compressing that double patch via the snare drum and then taking that channel, so the vocal that is compressed via the snare drum, and using that as the key input for your actual vocal's uh, gate. So that double patch goes nowhere except for the key input of that gate. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, you use the quickest attack you can get, or if you want to be nerdy, you could estimate or measure the distance between your snare and your background <laughs> vocal, your downstage edge, and use that, uh, you know, it's 20 feet, and it might be around 20 milliseconds of uh, attack time delay on that uh, compressor or something like that. But yeah, a really quick uh, attack and uh, a release of like 200 milliseconds or something like that. Uh, 100 to 1, you know, crazy ass ratio. And, you know, you can solo the double patch and work around and figure out how you want that. And once you've got the snare no longer being the super loud thing and it's just kind of all constant, then you go over to your real uh, vocal. Let me see if, I don't even know if you can see this, but uh, do I have it? Yeah, so this is mine. And uh, side chain turned on, key source is the double patch, pick off point would be post so that the compression that you applied actually is affecting the key input. Hit external for the source, maybe mess with the high pass and low pass filter for the side chain a little bit, depending on your environment. And bingo, bango, there you are. So um, I just did this on all four of my background vocals, got rid of 10 dB each on each of them. and. Uh, the singers didn't notice any negative effects during the sound check. Uh, and yeah, it's working great. If you want to be really careful, like me, you can make a, a snapshot or macro or event on your console that would get rid of such a thing like this. So that in between songs, if the band's talking for, just for sound checks, you know, you can open those gates wide open so that no one's going to look at you like you're, you know, the problem. Because you shouldn't be. You should be the solution. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So give that a shot. Hopefully I just described and explained that, uh, well, uh, if not ask some questions and, uh, hopefully I can help take care. Uh, now I'll keep it on external and I'll dial it back down to see, um, how much, you know, we actually did I think I said like it was like about six dB? So, real quick again, internal then external, and then I'll dial it. Okay, now the kick drum is actually even the problem. So, obviously, you got to spend a little time with this. Um, these aren't the exact settings I used when I was on the desk, uh, especially the high pass filter and low pass like keys. Um, because I didn't actually have that particular problem. But hey, you can always add that to your bus. You, this channel here could be getting compressed instead of from a snare. It could be getting compressed from a bus that is snare, kick, and toms, or whatever it is that you have to deal with. Just the whole point of this little tip is just, you know, you know how to use these tools. You know what every one of these things do. So use them to your advantage.